Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be baking a mini cake with my vintage Easy Bake Oven from the 1960s. So I recently picked up this Easy Bake Oven at an estate sale and I was really excited about it because I always wanted an Easy Bake Oven when I was a kid but my mom would never let me get one. And so I was so curious and I love the vintage look of this one and apparently it still works so let's see if I can actually make a cake. So I have everything set up and here is the box for my vintage, I think it's 1966 Easy Bake Oven and it doesn't have the instruction book anymore but there are some details on the side of the box saying how long to put it in for and I obviously don't have the mixes anymore but besides that I still have the oven, I plugged it in, it looks like everything's working and you basically slide it through that edge and then after a certain amount of time that comes through this edge except i don't have the poker anymore so i'll have to use a knife or something to push it through and then i have the two little pans so i'm going to make two little cakes and then i also have these little bowls and measuring cups that i can use for the cake and it comes with all these little cute little utensils I'm not sure what this thing is. I think it might be just for holding it after maybe when it's still hot. But it doesn't fit through there because I tried that. And then I also got this vintage Betty Crocker's book um, on Etsy. So I'm gonna do a flip through after that, but this was kind of the inspiration. And then I'm using my mom's vintage Pyrex. She got this for her wedding in 1973. And I thought they're cute and she has like a matching set, so I'm going to use those for a mixing. And since we're on the theme of Betty Crocker and vintage, I'm going to make my favorite cherry chip. So I'm going to mix it together in the big bowl and then dole it out with the little mini cup in each pan. I'm going to spray it with Pam first too so it doesn't stick. And then with the leftovers, I'll probably just make cupcakes or something. So I'm just going to make the mix. And I read online that you can just use any cake mix. You don't have to use the actual easy bake oven ones. And I couldn't really find one either. So I'm just gonna go with the Betty Crocker because it's my favorite. Whenever I get a chance, I always make the cherry chip one. And I don't know, I just used to like it. I made it as a kid too, so it's my favorite. And now I'm just going to crack the eggs. the one cup milk and half a cup of vegetable oil and now I'm just going to go ahead and get my mixer and mix it all up. So now that it's all mixed together, I'm going to spray the little pan with some cooking oil just because I don't want it to stick because I feel like that would suck. I'm mad I used to have a vintage mixer and I sold it and I wish I kept it because it would have been perfect for this video. And I really enjoy baking, so I might want to do more vintage baking videos based on some recipes in my vintage Betty Crocker book. So let me know if that interests you. I know I've never really done that before on my channel. I made one cake before, the upside down cake, but anyways, let me know if any of that interests you. So now I am going to use this and just take some of the cake mix and pour it in my pan without obviously making it too messy, even though it seems so. And this cake mix is very thick, a lot thicker than I thought. So it's not necessarily running out of here. I 
but I'll just pour it one by one. I don't want it to make it too messy. It's getting on my hands. I'm not sure how high to fill it because obviously it's going to rise a bit too. So my guess is less is more because obviously they rise up and I don't want it getting stuck inside there. I would hate to ruin a perfectly good easy bake oven. Um, especially a vintage one and then end up having cake stuck inside it. So. I'm gonna do one test one, it's a bit less. So now that the cake is filled about halfway, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Easy Bake Oven and all you have to do is plug it in. And these knobs don't work or anything because I tried it. And the light bulb's actually pretty warm because I put the pan in it to test. And you basically slide it into this first chamber and I'm going to time it. I'm going to start with 10 minutes and see how that goes and check on it and then if I need to do longer I will. I'm going to start with 10 because this is anywhere from 6 to 16. It's hard to say and I'm thinking with the actual Betty Crocker one, well they say the cupcakes are 12 to 17 minutes so yeah 10 might be enough. Or maybe I'll do eight to start, because I don't want to burn either. So it's been eight minutes now. I can smell the cake. I'm not entirely sure if it's done, but I'm gonna push it through just to see what's going on. Cause I don't wanna overcook it. And then this way for my next one, I'll know, but it seems like it might be, this is so cool. I'm like impressed by this. I think it might be done. Oh, it's actually really hot. I guess that's why I need my little, I need like a mini oven bit or something. I feel like this is way nicer than the um, modern one. So, looks like it came out. It kind of looks cooked. It kind of looks like it is cooked. I'm gonna stick a little like toothpick or something in it just to test it. And then that way I'll know if it was a good time. The amount of time and then I can let it cool while I bake the second one. So I'm just gonna it in and I think it is done so I think eight minutes is a really good amount so the pan cooled off very quickly I was impressed by that so now I'm gonna put in the second little cake for eight minutes so it seems like that is the perfect amount of time for this little guy and I'm just gonna set the timer and then we're good to go I don't know why but this is so satisfying for me I feel like I'm reliving some like childhood fantasy, like baking these little mini cakes. This is very fun. All right, so it's been another eight minutes. So I'm just gonna push this one through. I'm just gonna let it cool for a few minutes and then I'm going to ice it, but I'm gonna wait a few minutes to let it cool. So now that the cake is done, I'm just going to pop it on here. I'm gonna do two layers and I have my mini Betty Crocker icing. So I'm just going to ice the first layer because I want them to stick together. And now I'm putting on the 
second mini cake. And I just need to finish icing it. So this is this really cute Betty Crocker cookbook I got on Etsy. And I think it's from the 1950s or early 60s. It's 1966. I thought it was just really cute and I'm kind of interested in baking right now, especially vintage baking. And I just like the pictures and like all the little tips and just the fonts and the photos. They have some like really interesting things in here. And so I'm excited to kind of look into this a little bit. I even saw like different cakes for different occasions. See, I definitely need to learn how to frost mine better on the outside. <laughs> I actually want to get the other Betty Crocker. It was cool, they have like different tips on frosting and stuff. I feel like it's harder than it looks, considering how horrible my cake looks, my mini one. And there's the pineapple upside down cake. I made one of those. Yeah, they have like everything in here. Peanut bars, tons of stuff. Look at all these things. Cupcakes, teen treats. And then they have like birthday ones, like animal sh shaped cakes look interesting. I really want to make a cat shaped cake. I don't know if there's a dog one on here. I was hoping there'd be a cat, but maybe I can turn the bunny one into a cat somehow. Oh my god, all of these look cool, but I feel like mine would just be an epic fail. I don't know, maybe I'm being negative, but they make it look so easy. Like even that baseball one looks cool. Look at this one. I want to make that one as a telephone cake. And they have like everything there. Like how hard could it be? I don't know. I mean, look at all these. I love these photos. Like a giant hat one, a record. After 20 cakes. I love that one with the bow. They just make things look so easy back then. Maybe I can think of something for like Christmas or and then that one. I always thought it'd be fun to take a cake decorating class. Well, that's a tea one. Oh, this would be fun. Make the Betty Crocker tea menu. There's all the tips. Ooh, I like this. I should try that for a video. I wonder if it's hard though. They look so nice. I'd love to try that. And that was a dinner. Angel cake. Wow. Honey. Dessert and coffee. Little mini cakes. And then they have like winter calendar cakes. Oh my god, that one's like a Oh, look at that bunny. See, I want like a cat one like that. It's so cute. And the strawberry shortcake. And then they have like 4th of July. Berry basket. Yummy. And that football one looks kind of interesting. And oh, I wish I made those. Black cat cupcakes. That pumpkin cake with hard sauce. 
autumn cake. And then they get into the whole Christmas season. Christmas tree cake. So yeah, there's like fruit cakes. Yeah, I, I think this book looks neat. And then they even make wedding cakes. Oh, that heart one, I think that one's cute. And then there's like wedding showers. Oh yeah, the heart one, I love those. I feel like people don't spend, like the average person doesn't like bother to do this type of stuff, but maybe people did more so back then, making everything yourself. But I feel like now everyone just goes to the store. Look at that one. Unless I'm wrong, I don't know, it seems like it. Maybe this is a lost art form. And maybe back then more people were good at making cakes. Ooh, that one's cute too. Ooh, women. No, oh, they have a around the world section. Ooh, finished apple pie. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of the book. Lots of ideas in here of things. And yeah, this one was on Etsy. There's a bunch on there, so I can link them below. And it's kind of a fail, I guess. I got scared to putting the icing because it was falling off the top. So I was like, I'm gonna wreck my little cake. So now I'm gonna have a little bite and see what it tastes like. So it seems only fitting to take a bite of my mini cake with my mini Easy Bake fork. Mmm. It's actually really good. I'm surprised it's so tasty. That was very impressive. I honestly thoroughly enjoyed myself making this cake. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. I do want to try using it again. I don't know why it just made me feel like a little kid again.